crimey. You see this D4 deadfall trap with a cactus on it. You want to see how we built it? Gotta watch the rest of this episode. I'm Chris Thorne. That's Zachary Fowler. And this is the 30 Day Survival Challenge in Texas. There's only one rule. If you want to eat, you gotta catch it and cook it. Good morning, everybody. It is day 27. And the uh, weather's finally warmed up from the 30 degree temperatures we got last night. But I was able to stay warm, thankfully. Nice warring fire, and my hammock did a good job. So, so we've been uh, talking, Zach and I, and I think we're gonna have some fun building projects for you guys. So I uh, definitely don't want to miss out. I'll, I'll say this overall now that it's day 27. The challenge is pretty much over. We just gotta ride things out, have some fun, build some projects, things like that, and uh, just conserve calories. And speaking of that, um, oh, something that I've noticed um, with eating once a day, it, it really depends on what you catch though, keep this in mind. Uh, we've been averaging, and I'm guessing, I'm not a, Nutrition, nutritionist or anything but anywhere between like five to seven hundred calories a day which is about average i would imagine of what we're actually intaking it's like one tiny meal and drinking plenty of water um you can survive a pretty long time off of that actually especially if you're bigger like me i think a smaller person might have a harder time actually in the long term but um I have plenty of energy, but what I notice at night is when I finally get tired and I go to bed and I just lay out, my body goes into like a micro coma. I just, I'm just out. I don't wake up for nothing. Nothing moves me. And I go to bed at like eight or nine o'clock at night. And I don't wake up until like 10 to 11 o'clock in the morning. And all of a sudden I'm a pound, pound and a half lighter every day. And I think it's because my body is just eating all of my fat to recoup all the energy and get all the nutrients and the energy and the calories and all that stuff so we can keep moving. And uh, I'll say in the short term, like for me in this situation, I'm happy. I'm not mad at that. I'm actually pretty stoked because I'm losing weight. But in, I would say, a non-controlled survival situation, what I mean by that, let's be real, we still have to live off the land. I still have to get the water. We still have to forage. Everything is a real challenge. What I'm talking about, if the grid was truly down and we had to depend on everything, I would definitely want to be consuming way more calories. And I'd be far more aggressive in the pursuit for food. Uh, we're crushing it. Don't get it twisted. We're, we're getting a lot of food. But like those big game um, creatures like turkey and coyotes um crow rabbits deer uh hog all those things we'd be aggressively pursuing those uh, ravenously and we'd probably just be going absolutely nuts i'd have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of catfish lines out all over the place trying to catch food like a ravenous psychopath um because i realized i'm like what happens when I drop below 200 pounds? I go to 180, 140, 150, 160. Like, do you just become emaciated? When does the energy reserves that you have left run out? All right, let's pull up the traps. Nothing in any of them. This is definitely a dead zone. Uh. Let's go over here and check the other one. Nada. Nothing in that one either. Man. You know, as beautiful of a place as this is, this is probably 
my favorite spot to go during the day kind of just to step away from the camera and everything and come just sit and see everything i mean it's beautiful through here i mean it's gorgeous there ain't no freaking fish here that was a bust Well, sometimes when nature calls, make sure you have your shovel and a way to go to the bathroom. Two thousand years later. This shovel is like a miracle tool. I can hack and chop with it, do you know you want with it, all that good stuff. But this is my favorite part about the shit kit. Field toiletry kit, I love them. Been preaching them forever. Is the hand sanitizer. Wham. That way I can make sure my hands aren't all completely disgusting and nasty. When I'm working with my hands, hands to mouth, messing with food, processing game, I don't want my feces contacting the natural stuff around me. Got a little bit of soup in my cup. I really, really like this table that Zach and I made yesterday. Freaking awesome. If you haven't seen that, Definitely go up in the right-hand corner and check out the playlist we've got. We've got an entire series. This is day 27 of 30. So we have an entire playlist of stuff going on from the stuff we built, all the things we caught, all that awesome stuff. There's a, it's a pretty epic adventure so far. But, uh, <clears throat> man, I'm not joking about that whole being tired thing. Whew. Wake up in the morning pretty good. But around like five or six o'clock, man, I'm just like, I ain't feeling it. You just get really, really, really exhausted, little draggy, little groggy. You feel good to be able to sit down and get the fire started. But um, it's definitely because of the calorie deficit though. I know that. We're still eating every single day though. I mean, we've got possum, raccoon, we've had catfish, we've had soft shell turtle, we've had water snakes, rattlesnakes, rabbits, you name it, we've eaten it. All right, we're gonna see if we can sneak up on Zach. I doubt it though. Dude's like a billy goat, man. <laughs> he can climb on the sides of cliffs. He's crazy. But awesome, awesome, awesome friend, teammate, and uh, teacher to learn from, man, for real. It's been one heck of an experience being able to dive into the mind of someone who's done it longer than this. And also, he's really good at us figuring out what my strengths are and building upon those then figuring out what my weaknesses are and finding ways to turn those into strengths because in a survival situation you have no room to go i don't know how to do this i don't know how to figure this out i don't know what i'm doing i i i, I you don't have that option you've got to make you have to be solution driven you have to find a way to create innovate and adapt your way in and out of situations so he's really good at pulling that out of people and uh i can say that i've learned a hell of a lot so far but it's time to be quiet because we need to figure out exactly where he's at see him down there but we can go down there and look hmm can't seem to find him but i need firewood anyway so there's a bunch of dead stuff around here so i'm gonna go ahead and kill like that so zach wants to make a figure four texas paddle wagon 
Mad Max trap where he uses the tech, the cactus pad to actually and nail creatures. So maybe we'll do some rat trapping in that. My trusty snake stick can you use to try to ensure as much integrity on the pad as possible. Right, I got my cactus pad. Chose the big one because I want as much weight to fall down on the rats and the, or the rabbits or whatever we end up picking up. But now I need to find sticks to connect for the figure four. All right, so I've got my two sticks in the bottom of the trap. And we're going to go through and make a little handle up top. Before we actually set up the figure four. I don't want too much of this coming off. top and the sticks on the bottom. All right, uh, got some extra materials and whip out my handy dandy multi-tool. Well, that's the saw. There we go. And we need to cut a few pieces out to actually make the figure four. Ooh, that was a very close to that cactus. Poem. We've got the figure four trap made with the handle. And now we're going to piece the trap together and get everything situated. Let me just go ahead and lay this down. All right, so we got the bait stick right there. 
with the pecan because apparently all the little critters, raccoons and rats are going for those. Well, we're gonna go ahead and get this guy put together. And then we're going to take the rest of these acorn bits and chunks and going to go ahead and write those in there. Good to go. Hopefully we'll get something in the morning. All right, as you can see, there it is. All ready to go for some little critters. Hopefully, Minyana will be able to eat something yummy. Well, I put all that firewood to good use. Zach is still going after something with his 50 cal. Uh, he said he's gonna be in the blind, I think, until like 8.30, 9 o'clock tonight. Um, so I'm gonna keep our meal tended to that he cubed up and uh, make sure the fire's still going nice and warm because it's supposed to get pretty cold tonight. But other than that, oh, here's to a good dinner. Oh yeah, nice big fire going. Got that, oh, ho, 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 ho. That cubed raccoon looks delicious. Oh my gosh. Well, Zach should be back soon and we'll dive right in. Alrighty, time to dig in. Super amped. I like the cubed meat. It tastes really good. Go ahead and take this lid off. Go ahead and get some broth in there. And I can see more of the stew meat. Oh yeah. This smells really good tonight. Better than like the shredded meat. It has more of a super stew thing vibe when it for me personally. Broth is nice because it'll help keep it warm. Tonight's pretty cold. Chef Fowler did a pretty good job keeping this up for us tonight. Getting everything ready. Oh yeah, turned out good. Mm. There oh. we go. Time to go eat. Alrighty. Well, there was something about the last location eating on a table I kind of enjoyed it made me feel more human it reminds me of the bars and bar and grills or whatever I don't know so I'm gonna continue the tradition <laughs> however I've had the opportunity to sit by the fire for like an hour so Zach needs to warm up even Mainers get cold mmm Oh yeah, I know. This fire just feels so nice. I make good fire. Mm -hmm. The key is long pieces of mesquite. Yeah, the mesquite is the best. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I definitely miss stewed meat. Fried was really good, very flavorful, very fatty but something about like soup or stew in the middle of a cold night, it's so good. Mm. So, I was trying to play off that we would get catfish or rabbit or something else by now. 
But tomorrow's gonna be day 28, and we're slowly running out of uh, uh, raccoon. We could, we'd be good for tomorrow, but I definitely need to go out in the morning and set some more traps. Even though not ideal, I still wanna eat every day. So, last thing you wanna do is be tired and then hangry. It's not, that's not a good combo. But this soup broth is superb. Well, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, and then uh, off to bed. Dinner was good. It wasn't much needed. But uh, tomorrow's day 28, man. Day 28. So, so excited. Like, it's at the point right now, I could get pneumonia, and I'll just sleep it off and go to the hospital afterwards just to complete the 38 challenge. Knock on hammock, though. <laughs>